So there's a lot of people who've been creating their own MySpace layouts. And you want to learn how to do it, there's not many tutorials on YouTube how to do it. And if you see them, they're really complicated. So this is the easiest way I'm going to show you how to make your own MySpace layout. So there are a couple websites you're going to need, to, you can use. Um, like right here is dafont.com. You can get free fonts for Windows and Mac OS X. So it tells you how to install the fonts for Windows Vista. Right click, XP, put them into the Windows C drive, Windows folder, fonts folder. Mac OS X, double click on the font, install font button. So yeah, here are all the fonts. You can click from anywhere, just click download and install them. DeviantArt.com where you can get pictures and cool backgrounds, which <coughs> sorry, which you really need. So we're just gonna go to customization, wallpaper. We're just gonna go to tiles, so because they have pretty nice effects. <coughs> So make sure you click on all time, not 8 hours, not 24 hours, not 3 days, not 1 week, not 1 month, all time. So you can get any of these. This one looks really nice. This one looks better. You can get any of these because they really go nice. So get one of those, save it onto your computer, we're going to use them right now. So then there's brusheasy.com if you want to use Photoshop patterns and brushes. I don't really recommend using brushes. They're patterns. So you can use patterns to put them on your uh, MySpace layout. So first what I want you to do is go to the link in the description and download the file. It should be a RAR file so be aware. And once you extract it, it should be a MySpace folder. Double click on it. There's a MySpace CSS, CSS codes. There's a Photoshop pictures and I'm going to go over all of these. And there's just help FAQ and the website so you can use I just showed you so we're gonna go over all of these the, the background the banner the contact table is extended network and the name tag let's begin with the background now <clears throat> for some people the background is really important to them so we're just gonna tweak this out so I'm just gonna get a quick picture that came with this Windows 7 theme so I'm just gonna get it and just put it into my background. Raise it up a little bit. <clears throat> so if this layer goes over your layer zero, which is the big black bar, make it go under it. And you don't after you put in your background, if you put a picture, you don't need layer one. So you could just delete that one. So it's gonna look like this. Now it looks a little plain um, I agree with that. So now I'm just going to double click on the black bar, which is layer 0. I'm just going to click on outer glow. And then just versus blend mode, I'm going to go to multiply. Once in multiply, I'm just raise the opacity to 100. And change the color to black. Now change the size. You change the size. So that really looks really nice. There you go. Now it looks kind of like an faded effect. So you could just put anything. You could put text if you want. But I'm not going to do that. So this is just your basic thing. You don't need much for your background. If you want to go crazy, go crazy. I don't care. So you just want to go to File. Once you're done, Save As. You just, just leave it named just leave the file name as background change the format to jpeg so I just hit save jpeg option is going to show up quality to 12 for maximum and just hit ok and I can do that because I don't really need it so next we're going to go to the banner now the banner goes all the way on top you can just delete the text so that goes all the way on top of your MySpace layout. So we need to make it look a little stylish. So we're just gonna put something really fast. We're just gonna put this. We're gonna put some quick text. So 
So there you go, I just put my name. You can change the way you put your name and all that. So I'm just gonna get a picture of Gur. And it's gonna take a little while. But whatever, I'm just gonna pause the video really fast, do what I need to do, customize my banner. And there you go, I put in a picture of Gur and it says, I'm gonna hug you. That looks really cute. But you can put whatever you want on this, change the effects. I don't really care. Change how everything is, but just don't change the size, because we're going to need that in the future. So, once you're done with your banner, just go to File, Save As, File Name, Banner, Format, JPEG, hit Save, Quality 12, hit OK. So, we're done with that. So, next is the contact table. Nothing big. You don't need to really do anything for the contact table. You just put it in pattern and you're done. That's the easiest part. And if it goes over some of these texts, it's okay. Just drag it down all the way in the bottom. So we don't need layer zero no more. So we got this. So yeah, just tweak this out. You change the text if you want, but do not change the position of where they're at. It took me a really long time to do that, to find the position or it's supposed to be so just leave that alone just mess with the text but don't change the position so it looks really nice right now so just as always file save as file name contact table format jpeg save quality 12 and hit ok so we're done with that next is extended network if you want an extended network that small be my guest leave it but we're just gonna make it default I recommend just putting it as default size so we're just gonna go to file or no we're gonna go to image image size leave the width to 3 or 435 and change the height to 413 so be that's default size so as always I'm just gonna put in the picture by all means do whatever you want change the way it looks change the style I don't really care so just put something quick on it so I'm just going to put that position it right there so just put that right there which is my clan bitch and destroy on call of duty so you can just put it like that just put something really quick and just, just, as always, just go to File, Save As, Send a Network, File Name, Format, JPEG, hit Save, JPEG Options, Quality 12, hit OK. So, we're doing, I'm trying to go as fast as I can, so sorry about that. So, next is the name tag. You don't have to really put anything, just put in your name or something. So you put that, position that right there, grab the image, lower the image down, there you go. You got your little name tag. Change the text if you want, and I'm not going to do that. So you just change the text how you want it, just don't change the size, that's all I'm saying. So as always, file, save as. File name, name tag, Photoshop, no. Then to change the format to JPEG, hit save. Quality 12 and hit OK. So you're basically done making those files. So once you're done with those, they should all just come out like this. Except you wouldn't have these. So watch part two and how to put it in your MySpace. So yeah, that's all for right now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and watch part two.